So let me tell you how it all happened. I love Bangkok. I love Thailand. My mum is Thai. So for me, this place is home. I love the food. I love the people. I'm often here making content, eating, cooking. But why am I sometimes here? And then sometimes I'm here. Some of you might know parts of the story if you've been following along here on my channel, but I've never actually really spoken about it until now. So what happened was when I was 29, I started a company, my first company called Marion's Kitchen with my husband, Tim. And what we wanted to do was really create these products that actually tasted good. I mean, it bummed me out no end that people were eating Asian food products that were poor quality, that didn't taste like they should. And so really at the time, that was like my first taste of creating something that I was so proud of, that I really loved. And fast forward like 15, 14 years later, Marion's Kitchen is still one of the most loved Asian brands in Australian supermarkets. So that's kind of where my origin story really started. But along the way, we started making video content. So in 2017, we were living in Bangkok and we decided to make some very simple little food videos. And those little food videos <laughs> turned into their own giant beast of a thing, uh, which I just love. Like so many of you came on board so quickly. The channels grew exponentially. And all of a sudden there was like 45 million eyeballs a month watching my food videos, which I thought was amazing. Cause for me, the dream had always been to work in food, to cook every day, to share the food and the recipes that I loved so much. And here it was, here was the platform for me to do it. And I thought that was really, truly amazing. And so that became my life. I was creating food videos, creating food products, built an amazing team in Bangkok, opened my studio there. Uh, my mom was involved, obviously. I mean, those first Mama Noi videos, so cute. I remember the first time we put her in front of the camera and she just like blossomed. I mean, she was actually drinking a glass of red wine at the same time, but <laughs> she loved it and I loved it. And our life there was just so incredible. My two children were born there uh, and we were happily kind of filming and creating, you know, all the things we were doing. And I think probably at the time I took for granted just how much Thailand and Bangkok was inspiring uh, my recipes or the videos I, I made or you know the flavors in my food products because I think when you have something and you're there for so long we lived there for 10 years uh, you kind of become numb to just how special things are sometimes and then what happened was COVID and we decided at the time, like a lot of people in the world, we were unsure, we didn't know what was happening. I had a two week old baby uh, and we just thought, you know what, We've, we should get back to Australia. I was worried about my parents, they're you know, elderly. So we all came back uh, and we ended up by chance here in Noosa. And when I say by chance, uh, it was literally the last commercial flight out of Thailand, uh, which happened to land in Brisbane. And from there, we didn't really know what was gonna happen. I had my team in Bangkok also in quarantine and we were trying to find a home for our two young kids and ourselves. Probably we knew that we would wanna do some filming. So trying to find a home that we could also use as um, filming space and kitchen space that would be suitable for you know making videos and we found this beautiful house on the river uh, in Noosa and set up our little home filming uh, situation and all through uh, COVID I filmed from the kitchen here uh, and I loved being able to connect with so many people around the world I think at the time for me anyway food was such a a beautiful salve you know it was really comforting for me to be making uh, and cooking and sharing and chatting to people all over the world from quarantine basically but at the same time it was a real eye-opener because all the things I'd taken for granted living in Bangkok uh, you know the beautiful markets the beautiful food the street food the ingredients 
all of a sudden I had none of that. I thought to myself, wow, did I really take advantage of everything that Thailand had to offer? And, you know, at the time, I think it was a big wake up call for everyone. Everyone had moments of what have I done with my life or what have I been doing? And that was, you know, the case for me as well. But anyway, we continued on through COVID and I ended up setting up another studio here in Noosa and creating and pulling together such an amazing group of uh, individuals down here to create new content. So, um, you know, my new team and my new studio. And all of a sudden I was in a new pattern of life, living in Queensland and Australia, uh, cooking again and making videos again, uh, and also continuing to make the food products, but now with a new team. Uh, and I still had my team in Thailand as well. All right, we're good. Fish is good, everyone. Oh no, fish is stinky, fish is stinky. Quick <laughs> tip. Don't lose my lunch. Thanks, <laughs> Dilly. Maybe over there. That would have been such a disaster. I would, have, I would have died. I would have actually died. And so that kind of became my, my new normal, filming and living in Queensland and Australia, and also having to adjust my cooking style. You know, not everything that was available to me in Bangkok and Thailand is available here in Australia. So I kind of had to adjust and change up, you know, the sorts of recipes and ingredients I used, which is fine. And I think actually really helped me to understand the you know, kind of limitations that people have cooking Asian food when they're not in Asia. So I think that was a real plus, but um, you know, for me, life also then took another turn <laughs> because while we were here in Anusa, we also decided that we wanted to start creating some new things. So I think creating obviously is the, the main essence of what I love to do and what my husband, Tim, loves to do. So the last four years have been literally crazy. So uh, not only have we set up our own publishing company and we publish our own books plus books for other creators as well. We've also set up our own cookware company. We design in-house. So we manage a team of designers to create like the most amazing cookware. Uh, my first product being my Mako Wok, which I'm so incredibly proud of. Like, can you imagine like my whole life I've been cooking with a wok, seeing my mum cook with a wok and always, always wanting to make it better and then finally being able to do it. I mean, an absolute dream come true, um, not to mention all the other cookware we're creating. Uh, and not only that, we've created a homewares brand as well and a marketplace called cookdinehost.com. So, I mean, things just have exponentially exploded while I've lived here in Australia and I'm incredibly grateful for the teams that I now have in Noosa and also in Melbourne. Uh, I loved the pop-up we did in Melbourne uh, last year where I got to meet so many of you and that was really incredible. Okay, so why create things in the first place? Well, I just, I love to make things that I think are beautiful, useful, functional, but most importantly, like the best, you know, like with my wok, with my homewares, with my food products. The easiest thing to do would be to take something that someone else has already made and just slap my name on it. But that's just not my style. Uh, you know, I manage teams of designers, we work for years sometimes on products. Uh, you know, I remember my, my Luxa kit took two and a half years to get the flavor just right. As someone who cooks every day, and I mean really cooks all day, like sometimes I might be making a video or I'm testing food products or I'm testing cookware or homewares, and then I come home and I cook dinner and I make the kids lunches and then I get up the next morning and I make them breakfast and then we start all over again. I mean, as someone who does that much cooking and has done it for, decades. <laughs> I've got a lot of intel. You know, there's so many times in my life where I've been like, you know, if, if that was just made a little bit differently, if I could find a noodle bowl that was like perfect for ramen, but also perfect for a Thai noodle soup, but also looks beautiful. You know, like these are the questions that I ask myself every day. And this is part of the thing that inspires me to make the things that I make. And a lot of these things came about because people asked for them. So with all the wok cooking I do in my videos, so many people were saying, what wok do I use? What would be the best wok? And I just didn't have an answer because to me, there wasn't a best wok that I wanted to recommend. And it's the same with homeware. So many people loved the bowls and the spoons and the different props that we had and we were using in our videos. And I wanted to create a way that you could 
take that home with you if you wanted to, a way for me to come out of the screen, out of your phone, uh, and for you to enjoy more of the things that I love in real life, in your kitchen. So that's really what inspired the homewares and all of the things that I love to create now. So I'm really in this special space where I can create these amazing, beautiful things. And that's why I love when you guys tell me what it is that you like and what you wanna see, because I actually listen and get inspired by that. And the situation is that now I am in Noosa, uh, filming the beautiful content that I film here. And then I also get to go back to Bangkok now, uh, since the restrictions were lifted after COVID. And I mean, geez, I just, all the stuff I took for granted before, I no longer take for granted. I am out and about in Bangkok exploring even more than I did before, getting even more inspired than I ever have before with my travels around Thailand and also around Asia. And so it's really exciting and it's kind of made me think a little bit more about the kind of content I'm creating for you guys. And you know, last year I think I really got caught up in trying to compete, like trying to get the views that everyone else was getting, trying to change my style, make it faster, make it quicker, you know, because that's what everyone else was doing. But it's just, it's not me, uh, you know, for me, food has a story, it has context, uh, and that can't be explained by kind of just quickly slapping things together. And look, I don't wanna like throw any shade. I love really quick content too. I also do shorts and reels, and I think that's a really great way to find something great to cook for a weeknight dinner, uh, or just to, you know, be entertained. But the kind of content I wanna make myself and create, is more than that. So I'm completely going to change up how I'm making the content from now on. Uh, I'm gonna create episodes that are longer, that give you more context. When I'm here in Australia, I'm gonna show you a little bit more about my life living in a beautiful coastal town in Queensland, Australia. How do I manage three different offices, teams of people creating homewares, food products, you know, managing an e-commerce business, all those sorts of things, plus being a working mom. I mean, this is something that resonates with so many of you, you know, how do we navigate being so busy and also trying to be all these different people all at once in the one lifetime. So my Australian content is gonna be a little bit more about that and about my lifestyle here. And when I'm traveling in Thailand and Asia, I wanna give the food more context. I wanna tell you more about the ingredients. I don't wanna call it like educating, but showing you like the, the differences between, you know, all the different Thai basils, for example. Uh, you know, these are the kind of things that I find really interesting about Thai food, all the different dishes and, you know, some of the really, I don't know, like more niche recipes that maybe you don't find all over the internet, but that are like, equally as joyful as a Thai green curry. So I wanna go in depth a little more and those episodes will also be longer. And I think the whole point is that like, I'm also changing the way I watch, uh, you know, socials. I love to sit down and watch something beautiful on my television. I'm gonna create episodes that you will want to sit down and savor and enjoy with a cup of coffee or a bowl of noodles while you're on the sofa. That's the kind of content that I wanna create and what I'm gonna to aim to do this year. I'm also gonna create shorter recipes, so don't worry if you come to me for like weeknight recipes or you just wanna watch like small chunks of recipes being cooked without all the talking, <laughs> you can still do that. I'm still gonna be releasing those recipes as well. But I'm really excited about this next stage. I hope you guys will come along with me. I hope you love it. And don't worry, because I'll be listening along the way too. So please tell me what you like and what you don't like. Okay, so that's how we got to where we are. That's why sometimes I'm here, sometimes I'm there. Uh, and also, I'm really happy that I shared with you like my new plan for what I'm gonna be creating this year. And I hope you really love it. I'll be listening out to hear your thoughts. So please do let me know and let's chat soon.